electromagnetic induction, or to put it another way, how do wires and magnets generate electricity? Well, all magnets have a field around them. The larger, the more powerful the magnet, the greater the magnetic field, the greater the distance it extends out from the magnet. The field arcs out from the north pole to the south and can be seen flowing a bit like a battery, going round and round. The field will interact with anything crossing it, or anything crossing it will interact with the field. In the case of a moving copper wire, it sets up an eddy current in the wire, and the moving the electrons along the wire, generating or inducing an electric current. When the wire stops moving, so does the current, and if the wire moves in the opposite direction, so does the flow of the electrons, hence so does the current. Induction only happens when the wire crosses or breaks the lines of force, but not if it's moving along the lines of force. Of course, it doesn't have to be the wire that's actually moving. If the wire is stationary and the magnet is moving, the results are the same, since the wire is still crossing the lines of force. You can increase the amount of force or current produced in the wire in a few different ways. You can move the magnet or wire faster, you can increase the amount of wire, or you increase the strength of the magnet. Now, if you set up a large coil of wire within a magnetic field, then continually rotate the coil, you can generate a current. And this is the basis for an alternating current generator, turning rotational energy into electric current. You can also create induction without actually moving either the magnet or the wire. In this case, you still somehow need to move the magnetic field. You can do this, instead of by using a permanent magnet, you can use an electromagnet. If you pass electricity along a copper wire wrapped around an iron core, you will magnetise the iron core. Once the electricity stops, so does the magnetism. This creates an easily controlled electromagnet can be used from anything to lifting um, iron in a scrapyard or being the key component in the Large Hadron Collider. Now, if you use an alternating current to supply the power to the magnet, the magnetic field is continually reversing the direction, negating the need to move either the magnet or the wire to induce a current. And with a shared iron core or a similar item, by having coils of copper wire wrapped around one side of the core with an alternating current flowing through it and a different amount of coils of copper wire wrapped around the opposite side of the core. The first coil induces a magnetic field in the core. The core then induces a current in the second wire. Now by having different amounts of coils in the wire you can alter the respective voltage in the wires and this is the basis for how a transformer actually works. So that's a general introduction into electromagnetic induction. Hope you liked it.